but you can definitely walk away with the BTC trinkets. And we have beautiful slippers, we have bags, we have water bottles and, and jugs. You know, if you don't want to walk around with your cocktail in a cup, we have a, a nice bug, a bottle for you. So come on down to the BTC booth. We're open at 12 p.m. at 12 p.m. today. And we're going to be here until midnight, most likely, because I, I heard the whole lineup of entertainment. Four o'clock in the morning, the street closes. Well, that's how long we're going to be here. As long as customers are buying, we'll keep the booth open. Based on my schedule, it is obvious to me that you put a lot into the rest of you got a, a drill load of interviews lined up with me all weekend. That's right. We want the customers to know exactly what is happening, right? So we know that you're here, you came to watch the races, you came to have a good time, you came to reunite with family and friends. But we want you to also reunite with BTC. A lot of our customers may have took the... the, 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 the Road to you switch come over. You come to yes. they, may have, they, they made a choice to switch, but we're here offering port over office where if you part with BTC, you do get a free device. You can do all that while you're you here? You can do all of that right here at our booth. If you want to pay your bill while you're here, hey, I forgot, I left now, so I forgot to pay my BTC bill. I want to pay my bill. You can do it right at the, the tent. So it's a one-stop shop, and we're not only at the Regatta site, we're also at the roundabout at the airport, so as the flights land, we do have our mobile mobile van there where they can stop by, do whatever it is that they need. They can buy SIM cards, top-up, cell phones, whatever it is that they want to do, they can do it at the mobile van. And then we've also partnered with Sandals. So from 11 to 3 p.m., the residents of Sandals have us all to themselves. We have a tent on the property. So those people that are not able to come to the, to the Regatta site, they can definitely take advantage of all of the offers. They don't have to feel like, hey, I'm being left out because I'm, I'm working. We're right there to serve all of those residents of Sandals. Sounds like you got it all mapped out. We have it all and, mapped out. And, and you're back with me later this afternoon, so we can talk some more about and it. And we do have a live interview with our CEO. He'll be with us as well. Okay. But another thing that I want to mention, every patron out here will be able to log on to our free Wi-Fi. So we have this whole area live. So if you want to sign on, you want to save your data, you want to turn that data off because, you know, there's going to be pictures... This is the ZNS Network, providing radio and high-definition television services for the entire Bahamas. ZNS Network is operated by the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas. It is located at Harcourt Rusty Bethel Drive, Centerville, Nassau. Our programming is designed to inform, educate, and entertain. We invite you to join us. The following is a preamble of the Constitution of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Whereas 481 years ago, the rediscovery of this family of islands, rocks and keys, heralded the rebirth of the new world. And whereas the people of this family of islands, recognizing that the preservation of their freedom will be guaranteed by a national commitment to self-discipline, industry, loyalty, unity, and an abiding respect for Christian values and the rule of law. 
Now know we therefore, we the inheritors of and successors to this family of Allens, recognizing the supremacy of God and believing in the fundamental rights and freedoms of the individual, do hereby proclaim in solemn praise the establishment of a free and democratic sovereign nation founded on spiritual values and in which no man, woman, or child shall ever be slave or bondsman to anyone or their labor exploited or their lives frustrated by deprivation and do hereby provide by these articles for the indivisible unity and creation under God of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. It's Friday, April 22nd, 2022, and the morning edition is live. On today's show, BPL CEO call it quits. Police investigating two homicides hours apart. The Sandlands Rehabilitation Center staging an art exhibition. And the National Family Island Regatta is underway. So let's start the morning off right. is brought to you by We Buy You Sell Company, your leading hurricane impact windows, doors, and tile specialist. Make the day ridiculously amazing. It's Friday. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning edition. I'm LaDawn Davis. And I think you're saying it the wrong way. I'm Charles Fisher. It's Friday. Yes. Yeah, Friday, it. and it's also <laughs> Earth Day. Lots of stuff around Earth Day, but I'm interested to hear our musical guests in studio this Children's morning, Chosen Soldiers. Yes, yes. I heard them warming up. We have the yes. National Neighborhood Program and there today. It is also the start of Regatta and talking about Regatta. A big smile on your face. You're heading down to Exuma yes, today. Yes, Quincy and I are going down this morning. We're going to cover Regatta. All the sights and sounds. We're so have so a good you're time. ready for it? Yeah, definitely. We're it's ready. Good, we're ready, but let's see how the weather is going to look shaping up this weekend. We are waking up to 75 degrees, winds east at 13 miles per hour, humidity 83%. Our frontal boundary in the northwest Bahamas and the surface trough in the southeast Bahamas will both dissipate across the islands today while a strong high pressure builds over the islands. Fall areas weather partly cloudy to cloudy, mild and windy with widely scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. Your daytime high temperature, 84 degrees Fahrenheit, overnight low of 70. And as we look ahead to the weekend, Coming up on Saturday, partly sunny, a wind there affecting those both somewhat of a bit there in Elizabeth Harbor, but they should sail 81 in the day, 73 at night, and then on Sunday, that's when the skies will open a thunderstorm, wind subsiding, 82 in the day, 71 at night. Bahamas Power and Light Company Chief Executive Officer Whitney Hasty and Director of Human Resources Evis Mizik have tendered the resignations with immediate effect. That confirmation coming in a press release from BPL Chairman Pedro Roll. The board accepted those resignations and now our next move is to consider um, where do we go from here. BPL has in place um, an established structure. We have always had uh, beneath the CEO, We've, we have um, uh, COOs, right? And we've got two of them, uh, Chief Operating Officer. So with the management team in place uh, in the interim, we will seek to guide and manage BPL as best as we can. As the government moves to become a leading digital assets hub, it's keen on putting the necessary framework in place to get its share of that trillion dollar industry. It's all part of diversifying the economy. We have consulted extensively with the regulators and financial and legal experts. And we believe that our white paper positions us to become a leader. We have ensured that as part of this policy paper, which sets out the framework and goals for positioning the Bahamas and growing the industry, that we have focused on absolute measures to ensure Bahamian participation. Fundamental to this work that is already underway with the University of Bahamas is to develop a degree and certificate programs in digital assets. One must understand this fast-moving industry to be able to prof professionally thrive in it, and we are committed to ensuring those opportunities exist for Bahamians. Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis tabling the climate change and carbon market initiatives bill in the House of Assembly this week. The proposed legislation will ensure that the Bahamas can benefit from carbon credit payments. The first step 
is to map out scientifically the mangroves, <coughs> the seagrasses, and forests that we have that we have that are functioning or could function as a carbon sink. That is functioning to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. While this mapping and verification process is taking place, we need to set up the legal and financial frameworks that can ensure that any resulting carbon credits are managed in the best interest of the Bahamian people. Police working feverishly to unravel the circumstances surrounding not one but two homicides here in the capital, the latest on Joe Farrington Road just before 5 p.m. Thursday. Upon arrival, first offenders met an adult male slumped between a forklift and a trailer with multiple gunshot wounds about his body. Our initial investigations revealed that the male was working on behalf of a company when he was approached by a lone gunman who discharged the weapon at him, hitting him several times and fatally wounding him. Just hours earlier came the brazen fatal shooting of a bystander, the incident unfolding on Sunrise and Blue Hill Roads in the area of Gamble Heights. The male was at the stall while when he was approached by a two males who exited a small vehicle brandishing firearms. Those males discharged those weapons at that victim, fatally uh, injuring him. A traffic fatality also taking place on the streets of the Capitol last evening on West Bay Street in the area of Awaki. The victim was crossing the street from the northern side of the road and as he approached the southern side, a vehicle that was driving west in a westward direction struck him, sending him into another vehicle. The vehicle that struck him did not remain at the scene, it fled, and we are looking for the driver of that vehicle at this time. Emergency medical services visited the scene, and following their assessments, they determined that there were no signs of life. Good morning, Fisher and Ladon, and good morning, Bahamas. Your Friday morning traffic report is coming to you live from West Bay Street and Chippingham Road. It's a relatively quiet area um, compared to the activity which took place here last night. But before we get into that, here is a look at overnight stats. According to the Royal Bahamas Police Force Traffic Division, there were a total of four accidents over a 24-hour period, one of them resulting in a fatality. That fatality happening right here in this area on West Bay Street and Chippingham. In the distance, we can sort of see um, a little bit of yellow caution tape and what appears to be a little bit of debris in the road as well. Now, according to official reports, it was shortly after 11 last night when police were called to the scene. Here they found the body of a lifeless male pedestrian. Initial details revealing that he was struck by a driver who fled the scene. Now, police are on the lookout for that vehicle involved in this crime and encourage anybody with information on that crime to call in. And just a reminder before we leave you, the speed limit is 25 miles per hour on most roadways throughout the Bahamas. And with that, we want to encourage you and remind you, as always, to drive with due care and attention. With that, Fisher and Ladon, we're going to toss it back to you in studio. I've always worked in business solutions, commercial customers. We've worked with and helped them to become successful through communications technology. It forces me to be on my game in terms of learning about technology, learning about communications, learning about mobile and fixed. So I'd advise any young woman wanting to get into the technology field to take every opportunity that you can to learn because you just never know where the job opportunities will be in one or three or five years. Swim Customs Clearance Software is the trusted brand of hundreds of thriving Bahamian businesses. Expertly engineered by ISL Bahamas for seamless single window management with smart features like proration logic designed to expedite the completion of accurate customs duty calculations. A searchable tariff index that matches each entry with its corresponding tariff code. Swim separates taxable and tax-free entries automatically and significantly refines your customs clearing experience. Brokers, importers, shippers, couriers, 
Are you drowning in an ocean of customs clearance mayhem? Call 356-5592 or visit islbahamas.com and start clearing customs digitally with single window management. Swim, the stress-free customs clearance software. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, 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 swim. Brothers, Scholars Rowing Club and Exuma taking two athletes to the Copa America Coastal Championships in Peru, and they didn't disappoint, making history for the 242. This marked the first time Bahamas have ever medaled at a world rowing event. Andrew Bull, he won gold in the under-19 men's solo, while Destiny Roll won bronze in the under-19 women's solo. Also traveling with the team, coach Mike Knowles, and he joins us this morning from, from Peru via Zoom. Good morning and welcome to the Morning Edition. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And what are you feeling right now knowing what your athletes have accomplished? Oh, man. It's, um, I'm over the moon. Um, emotional. Just so proud of them and all the work that they put in over the years. And c coming and, from uh, Exuma, this has to be even more special. Oh, of course. As a family Islander, we know what it, we know what it means to put in hard work to get, to get the things that we want. And um, that's what we, I always preach to them. You know, we have to have to work extra hard in order to get things done. And I'm understanding there were eight countries taking part, including the Bahamas. How was the level of competition? Um, the level of competition was pretty good. Um, there was some there was some high level competition in the girls' side in particular. Uh, Andrew, on the boys' side, he actually handled that pretty well. Um, but there was still a little bit of uh, a, a little bit of tight competition with there. And how did this opportunity for these two youngsters come about? Um, so we learned of the competition uh, in February through the Bahamas Rowing Federation, um, uh, and we were like, "Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're a Colso regatta. That's what we do. We're going to do it." And tell us more about the Scholars Rowing Club over there in Exumo. Uh huh, man. Listen, we started in 2012. No, I'm sorry, 2015. 2015, um, and a few years ago, we were a week away from shutting down. Um, when Andrew Bow, in particular, he, him and his sister, showed interest in joining the club, and the rest is history from there. Um, since then, we've had to build our own boats. So all of our equipment is handmade. Um, and currently we have between 10 and 12 active athletes, all young, young Exumians between the ages of 12 and 17. So what else is on the drawing board for the rest of the year for you guys? Oh, okay. So next up for us for sure is going to be the World Beach Sprint Finals in Saunders Foot, United Kingdom. That's gonna be the middle of October. Um, that's, that's the big eye, that's the big prize in our eyes, and that's what we're shooting for. Well, thanks a lot for joining us from Peru this morning. Congratulations to you all, and a safe trip back home to the Bahamas. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me. Well, competition is underway at the National Family Honor Garden in Georgetown, Exuma in the Class E. One Bahamas won the Ministry of Agriculture, Marine Resource, and Family Island Affairs Cup race. Captain Peg finished second, while Mako rounded out the top three. Over in Class C, it was Pardon Pride taking the cannon and winning the Governor General's Cup. Slaughter was second and Bullrush third. There are 16 E-Class and 27 C-Class loops sailing this year. Air Member of Parliament and Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable Chester Cooper, was among the spectators taking in the action at the Regatta Park along with Minister of National Security, the Honorable Wayne Monroe. Music producer and recording artist Katya joins us next time on Journey TV. Katya shares her journey of healing and self-discovery, which gave her the tools to thrive through anxiety and the courage to share her music with the world. Don't you miss this inspiring story. Tune in Thursdays at 8 p.m. on ZNS. Journey TV, we share life's truths.
seasoned entrepreneur and philanthropist Lincoln Deal joins us next time on Journey TV. Tune in to hear some of his greatest fights and failures and how these were turned into his biggest wins because of his relentless pursuit to fulfill purpose. Don't you miss this powerful episode. Tune in every Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on ZNS. Journey TV, we share life's truths. no see. You hear me? Long time. No see. All fish, stew fish, stew conch. I love it all. Tourists come here to take our tours, experience our sun, sand, and sea, and they also spend money around town. I used to see a bunch of hogfish around here, but nowadays, I hardly see any. You protect one area, the fish do their thing, make a bunch of babies that spread all over the sea. What's the problem? If we protect certain parts of our sea. It keeps all parts working right. I was against that face, but knowing what I know now, I totally agree with having marine protected areas. I support marine protected areas. We support marine protected areas. Look for Bahamas Protected on Facebook. Sign the petition. Sign the petition. <laughs> Island Resort determined to blow its guest minds this year with a multi-million dollar renovation and new partnerships on tap. Those massive upgrades include the redevelopment of all Royal Tower guest rooms and suites. The renovation of all guest rooms and suites in the Royal East Tower are to be completed by the summer. Closely followed by newly renovated rooms and suites in the Royal West Tower, the Royal's world-famous bridge suite is on track for a total renovation and completion by next year. Plans also full steam ahead for Atlantis's new resort called Somewhere Else to replace the Beach Tower. The there's a reimagined Atlantis Casino and the addition of another Michelin-starred chef to dine the rosters. 40 caregivers from several children's homes completing a training workshop spearheaded by the Ministry of Social Services and Urban Development. Minister of State for Social Services and Urban Development, the Honorable Lisa Raming, touched on the importance of good parenting as those caregivers play a dual role. Because a good parent brings those same valuable parenting skills to the job and the children benefit as a result. Because whether you appreciate it or not, you are their substitute parent. We want you to love, care, and treat the residents in the child care facilities as if you would do your own. If you come to work with that mindset, you would not only view your job differently, but you would view the children differently as well. National Neighborhood Watch Council is gearing up for its anniversary church service, and this morning we're joined by the council's national chairman, Kino Wong. Kino, welcome back to the Morning Edition. Good morning. It's a joy to be with you. And Kino, talk us a little bit about the effectiveness of the Neighborhood Crime Watch uh, Association over the past few years, or four years. Well, for the past four years, we have grown from 42 groups to over 167 watch groups from 2018 to now. And just over the past few weeks, we have developed more neighborhood watch groups throughout the country, especially here in New Providence, in Yamacro and Canterbury uh, communities on the eastern side of New Providence, as well as in the southwestern, uh, south, the southern area, the Fox Hill community. Community. So our groups are continually growing underneath the Ministry of National Security Neighborhood Watch Program. And your take on the amount of, of crime happening in the country? It's always a sad point for community leaders to 
here overnight or during the day that we see so much um, crime activities happening, especially with, with individuals being gunned down in the broad daylight. Also with um, homeowners, um, um, water pumps being stolen overnight or gas cylinders being taken or just the obstruction of in communities where residents are not cooperating with one another, blocking the traffic pathways into their communities. But when we in the Bahamas National Neighborhood Watch um, program see the level of crime, it bothers us to a level that we ask the question, do you know who are the people in your community and how can we assist with conflict resolutions? And talk us a little bit more about the church service you guys have coming up. Well, this Sunday at 2 p.m., we will all come together, all community leaders, um, other organizations such as Crime Stoppers, Zonter, um, Kiwanis, the Royal Bahamas Police Force, and other partners will come together this Sunday at 2 p.m. at the Living Waters Kingdom Ministries on Warren Street in the Oaksville uh, community under the leadership of Apostle Raymond Wells. And we, we want to say to all of our partners over the past, four years come and worship with us it's going to be an exciting time we have the the royal bahamas police force liaison officers who will be leading in our worship experience we call them brothers in christ and so we will have the minister of national security along with our national coordinator mr ismela davis delancey who will also be bringing remarks to this special service and we will have our our other neighborhood watch groups from Grand Bahama, Eleuthera, Exuma, and Abaco, who will all be tuning into our platform on our social media. Kino Wong, thank you so much for joining us here on the Morning Edition, and happy anniversary to you and your team. Thank you so much. Thank you. Empowering everyday living through art, that's the theme as the Sandalins Rehabilitation Center in the Bahamas observes Occupational Therapy Month to celebrate the center stage and art exhibit Here's Antoine Smith. I now pause to declare this year's art exhibition officially opened. And with that, the paddles went up and the auction officially began. Hopeful bidders hoisting their paddles for a few one-of-a-kind pieces. 280, 280 on the floor. Only the lucky ones securing a bid, taking home a Sandalins client-produced work of art. Coming here, I really didn't know what to expect what level of art would, would have been on display. But when I saw the use of the various mediums, the way these patients detect, um, depicted the theme, I was very encouraged and motivated. A feeling shared by many, the pieces, an extension of the Sandalins Creative Recovery Program, a therapeutic initiative started back in 2013, which seeks to empower and rehabilitate through the power of art. Today, we see how far the amazing initiative has come as clients and staff freely express themselves and progress towards healing and recovery. I commend the leadership and staff of Sandalins, and I commend the artists, and the artistic community that has provided support to the clients of this institution in the development of such successful art therapy initiative. And it is the hope of Sandalins officials that this exhibition is merely the start. We are hopeful that your understanding of the SRC Creative Recovery Program will be strengthened as you walk among the, the art on display. And with each step, know that you are helping to dispel the myths surrounding mental illness one painting at a time and as we head to the break we take a look back at today in bahamian history on april 22nd 1958 an unidentifiable species of fish was spotted off cherokee sound in abaco resulting in residents using shotguns and harpoons to catch the 17-foot creature estimated to weigh 5,000 pounds. Also on this day in 1981, pastor of Salem Baptist Church, the Reverend Charles W. Saunders was elected president of the Bahamas National Baptist Missionary and Educational Convention, succeeding Reverend Charles Smith, who had completed his tenure.
music producer and recording artist Katya joins us next time on Journey TV. Katya shares her journey of healing and self-discovery, which gave her the tools to thrive through anxiety and the courage to share her music with the world. Don't you miss this inspiring story. Tune in Thursdays at 8 p.m. on ZNS. Journey TV, we share life's truths. Seasoned entrepreneur and philanthropist Lincoln Deal joins us next time on Journey TV. Tune in to hear some of his greatest fights and failures and how these were turned into his biggest wins because of his relentless pursuit to fulfill purpose. Don't you miss this powerful episode. Tune in every Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on ZNS. Journey TV, we share life's truths. Well, Adore, we have chosen soldiers here in the studio with us this morning. What's got me? These, these hairstyles are <laughs> Dawn and Chaz Major. How old are you guys? Uh, I'm 12 years old right now. 16. So wow. when did you start mu music? Well, we, we started about eight years ago um, at our church talent show. And how did you get started? Well, um, our church is having a talent show, like I said, mm -hmm. and we had wanted to participate very badly. We wanted something to do because he wasn't doing nothing at the time. Like I said, at the time, he was four years old wow. and I was only eight years old. Wow. So we sat down as a family, got together, tried to discuss, try to find what our talent is, what we can do at a talent show to impress everyone. So I came with, we both came with the idea, said, you know what, we want to do gospel rap because it's already at a church. We might as well just do gospel rap. We're young. There's not many young artists out there around that time. So we came to the conclusion that that's what we were going to do. So I know everybody wanted to hear what Chosen Soldier going to sing for us this morning. So the floor is yours, Don and Charles. All right. All right, thank you. Let's do it. As hard as things have been, as hard as things are, no, never we'll give, up. give up. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence, which has great reward. For you have need of endurance. So that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what is promised. Yeah. I can't let nobody stop me now. I'm living in my purpose. I'm moving in my purpose. I'm walking in my purpose. No, it don't matter how I look right now. Don't give up, just keep working. I know it's hard, but it's worth it. Just know we all have a purpose. Yeah, we all have a purpose, and that's so true. God made you for a reason, so what you gonna do? Are you gonna stay still, or are you gonna move? Push through the pain or complain about what you going through. See, when you walk in the purpose, you can feel the devil praising God through the hard times. Shows him you refuse to settle. It takes strength to hold on when the flesh is screaming, let go. Push the pride to the side and go up another level. Yeah, I know that my purpose is to spread his word and tell people about Jesus who ain't never heard. As it is in heaven, man, it shall be on earth. This is what we're made to do. So let's go to work. It's easier for you to give up than to keep on going. Better days are ahead. Please don't lose your focus. All our blood, sweat, and tears. It won't go unnoticed. God's grace flows deep. It reaches at your lowest. I can't let nobody stop me now. I'm living in my purpose. I'm moving in my purpose. I'm walking in my purpose. No, it don't matter. I got a purpose, I can't let the devil take it from me This ain't about making music, this ain't about making money This about winning souls, man, this about being bold, man No, I cannot fall, man, cause I know I'm chosen To do what God called me to do Yeah, no matter what, I gotta see it through Look at big bro, I told him it's on me and you So we gotta get covered before we make a move Stay washing the blood and show them love No matter if they hate me, just know I'm not giving up I won't fall, I won't break, I won't move, I won't budge My strength and trust is in my father up above Hands lifted to the sky, I was created to worship When I'm rapping and I'm praising, that's my purpose I admit it, I'm guilty, I ain't perfect But I was forgiven, God's grace changed my verdict Stop me now I'm living in my purpose I'm moving in my purpose I'm walking in my purpose No, it don't matter how I live right now Don't give up, just keep working I know it's hard, but it's
it's worth it. Just know we all have a purpose. Yeah, we all got a purpose. I have a purpose. You have a purpose. We all have a purpose. Let us. You're watching the ZNS Network, the people station. You are about to connect with people who are ready to bring you the most open, honest, and revealing life stories. Welcome to Journey TV. Hi, and welcome to today's episode of Journey TV. I'm Erlene Camille, your host, and today I have a nice surprise for you. Dasque Bertram de Bubbala. Jaque Adderley is here with us today. Jaque, welcome to Journey TV. Thank you. It was a journey getting here. Uh, it was a journey getting here. Yes. <laughs> so excited to hear about your journey, right? Yes. So tell us about you. Uh, again, my name is Jaque Adderley, also known as Bertram of Bubbala and Dasque, for those who are on social media, not everybody. Um, I am an actor, entertainer, social media influencer, um, entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and the CEO of an organization by the name of An Author Box. Awesome, awesome. You know, I tell, uh, I've mentioned a few times, I'm like, Jaque is doing something, Dasque is doing something that a lot of people aren't able to do. You've been able to represent all type of different brands in all type of different industries and execute well, entertain, Thank and still, you. you know, add to, to your empire. A lot of people, you're the only one who I know can do that. People usually stick with one brand. Mm -hmm. So congratulations to you on that. Thank you. How has that been? Uh, what is it like to entertain and? It's, entertainment is an outlet for me mm -hmm. based on where I've come from in my journey. Mm -hmm. um, so this is, it is a platform for me to be free and be myself safely. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's a lot. It, I'm truly grateful that God gave me this path unexpectedly mm. um, for me to express myself and to have a place where I can be happy while I'm serving him with the gift that he's given to me. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's been really unexpected, but off the chains. Off, off the off the chains. Mm -hmm. I can't say off the chains. Off, off the chains. Yes. <laughs> so when you say unexpected, how, first, how did this happen then, since it's been unexpected for you? Um, what a lot of people don't know is my journey started from an, an angry, incubated mm. place. Interesting. And what I mean by that is I was very sheltered as a child. Mm -hmm. I couldn't go out. I couldn't even go in the park and play ball because as far as my mommy is concerned, they shooting people out there, mm. they fighting, they stabbing people, so no, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Come to church with me, you go to school, and you come to my work afterwards and then we come home. Wow. So I wasn't really social at all. Never went out, never partied. You see your friends, they're having fun. Mm -hmm. They going, oh, we going to this, we going to that. We've been to the school dance, we going to the movies to mm -hmm. watch this, mm -hmm. and we going outside by the park to play ball, and you're like, mommy, I could go. And she's like, no, they shooting people out there. No. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, I guess I'll stay home. Mm -hmm. um, so, unfortunately, that brought a lot of anger out of me because I wanted to be like what I saw, mm -hmm. um, but I couldn't. I couldn't have my own way. I didn't have a car, so I couldn't go. Didn't know nobody. You know, the cousins who used to come pick you up and say, yeah, we going by Annie's Tingham, but you know you all ain't yeah. going by Annie's Tingham. <laughs> we going down the road. We going to touch road. Um, so I didn't even have that. Um, and I was very angry um, because I wanted to explore, I wanted to get out there, I wanted to do something fun, mm -hmm. not just be home all the time. Mm -hmm. And one day, um, I think there was a party that I actually wanted to go to and my mother said no. Mm. And I was, I was upset. Mm. That was like a Saturday night. And that following Sunday, after church, I walked outside and I still was angry because of her no from the day before. And this random man come for me, um, came to me, uh, who attended Mount Tabor, and that's the church I grew up in. And he was like, hey, are you okay? 
And I look at this man like, I know you is. Um, I say, yeah, I'm fine. And then he stopped me, say, no, you sure? And I don't know, I don't, I don't know normally, I don't normally open up to people I don't know. Mm -hmm. But for some reason in that moment, I just um, let it spill out. And I was like, actually, you know what? No, I'm upset. Like, every time I try to go out or do something or have fun or have a childhood, my mommy keep telling me, no, she ain't let me go nowhere. I know she has good intentions behind mm -hmm. it, but it sucks. Like, this, this childhood sucks. And then he said, okay, I understand where you're coming from. But I'm led to tell you that you should not be upset with your mother because God has you in an incubation period Ooh. for when he's ready for you. Ooh. So I wasn't really deep and spiritual then. Then I was like, I look at him like, yeah, I don't know what you're what talking, talking about. about? Mm -hmm. Incubation, I can't even spell wow. that like that. Wow. Incubation. Mm -hmm. But he's like, yeah. 